The Nord Aviation N500 Cadet was a one-seat experimental vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed by the French company Nord Aviation in the 1960s. Initiated as a private venture in the early 1960s, the project aimed to explore the tilt-duct concept, where lift rotors are enclosed in pivoting ducted fans. The aircraft was designed to combine vertical takeoff with efficient horizontal flight without using conventional rotorcraft solutions. Design work began with wind tunnel tests and structural studies, culminating in the first mock-up shown at the 1965 Paris Air Show at Le Bourget. The N500 was a high-wing monoplane with short-span, pivoting wing consoles supporting two large ducted fans. Each fan housed a five-blade variable-pitch propeller with a diameter of 1.5 meters, encased in a ring duct of 1.58 meters inner diameter, designed to provide both thrust and additional lift. The fans could rotate electrically to transition between vertical and horizontal flight modes. The aircraft's airframe was primarily metallic, with a high-mounted cockpit offering excellent visibility. It had a fixed tricycle landing gear with a wide track for stability. Two Allison T63A5A turboshaft engines, each producing 317 horsepower, were installed side by side in the rear fuselage. The engines drove the propellers through a complex transmission system developed by Hispano Suiza, allowing for engine redundancy and full control of fan rotation. The first prototype, completed in 1967, was used only for ground and tethered flight tests. In 1968, the second prototype achieved its first tethered flight and was later approved for free flight testing. During trials, the aircraft demonstrated good handling characteristics and validated the tilt duct configuration. In 1969, the prototype was transferred to Onera for wind tunnel testing, which confirmed the aerodynamic benefits and noise reduction properties of ducted fans. Despite promising results, the N500 Cadet faced competition from conventional helicopters, which offered lower costs and greater simplicity. By 1971, the project was canceled due to a lack of military or commercial interest. The proposed follow-up models, including the Nord 501 attack and transport variants and the larger Nord Rocade concept, were never built. Though it never entered production, the Nord N500 Cadet represented an ambitious and technically sophisticated step in vertical takeoff and landing experimentation. It remains a notable example of mid-20th century aerospace innovation and the only French aircraft to fully explore the tilt-duct concept.